everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I am the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code and today we are going to be talking banner images. This has probably got to be one of the main questions that I get um, or the main struggles that people talk about when making their site mobile friendly is the banner images. They don't like how the banner images is cropped or zoomed in when viewed from a mobile device. So for instance, you can see this image. If I flip over to mobile, it crops in. In this particular image, I kind of like this crop, but you might want all of the field or maybe there's other people on either side. And so you want to be able to see the whole image. Now in a previous video, I've shown you how to switch this out for a mobile friendly version. And that is the strategy that you want to use if you need text or other images on top of a background image. So this strategy will only work if you have a section like this where you don't need text or other things on top of the banner image. You just want a big image and you want that same image to be displayed on desktop and on mobile. So if you have text or other things on top, you're going to want to look at my previous tutorials that talk about how to switch this background image out. But if this is you and you have a full image like this, no text on top, and you want the same image to be displayed on both desktop and mobile, then this is what you're going to do. We're gonna first start in Squarespace 7.1 and then I'll show you how to do this in 7.0. So what I've done is I've created a duplicate of this page, but instead of having this image be in the background, I've actually added it as an image block. So in your section, you're going to want to delete the background out. You're going to want the section height to be small and the content width to be large. And then you're just going to add it as an image block. Okay, I don't have any other links or captions. You can have it linked through if you like and you want nothing else in this section. So if you have text blocks or spacer blocks, you want them deleted. So it's just an image that goes all the way across. Then you're going to go to design, custom CSS, and copy and paste the code below this video for Squarespace 7.1. And there's a couple things that you'll need to edit. First is the collection ID. So I only want this to apply to this particular section on this particular page. So I like to use this Chrome extension to help me do that. It's called the Squarespace Collection Block Identifier and it brings up all the collection and block IDs on the site, very handy. So I'm going to use that to find the collection ID of my page. And then I'm just going to paste it in here. So hashtag and the collection ID. And then you may need to change the section number. So in this particular website, I want to target the first section, so I have it as a one. But if you want to target a different section on the page, so maybe I have an image here, then I'm going to do one, two, three, and I'll change this one to a three. So which page is it? And then what section is it? Okay, and you should see that it's removed the padding and margin from the content wrapper itself. And then the Squarespace block image, it's made it 100% of the width. And then I've moved it up to have it underneath the um, navigation by using this margin top code. So if you don't want it underneath the navigation, you're not going to have this line or you're gonna set it to zero. And you can play with the number to have it go up as much as you want. So I kept playing around and I found that eight in this case was the best setting for me. Click save. And now you should see that it looks very similar to the other page, but when I flip over to mobile, it's showing that whole image and not just a cropped version of it. If you are in Squarespace 7.0, you're gonna follow a very similar strategy. So instead of having it as the banner image, I'm gonna delete it from the banner image. And in my index page section here, I'm just gonna add one big image. There's no other text inside of this. It's just one image. And then I'm going to go to design custom CSS and copy and paste the code listed below this video for Squarespace 7.0. You will also need to find the page ID. Now, usually this is the URL slug that is listed here. So I can copy this and it's going to be hashtag this URL slug. 
depending on the template you are using, that might not be the case. So what you can do is right click and select inspect. And you're going to scroll up until you find the section ID. And that is going to be your ID for your page. Mm -hmm. And then same idea, it's going to delete the padding and margins from the content. And then it is going to um, make the width of the image 100 view widths. Now in Squarespace 7.0, if I put this as a negative number to move it up, it actually just moves it below the header. So you can't have um, it displayed over top of the image, unfortunately. But I actually found I wanted to move it down too, because this was too close to the navigation. So I actually moved it down just a little bit to give a white navigation, but then I still have my full image. And if I flip over to mobile, again, you can see that full image there. So if you like this tutorial, make sure that you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this on my blog, then make sure you sign up for my freebies so that you can be notified when a new tutorial is posted. Until then, that is how you get the full image to display the same on desktop and mobile.